produce its own goods and sell them to the world. As it is, Madam Speaker, we are importing even the least of commodities. We are importing toothpicks. We are importing uh, uh, match boxes and such things. Very basic commodities that can be manufactured here. What that means is that that employment opportunity has been given to someone else in another country. Every time you consume goods from other countries, then you have donated an opportunity for employment of our youth. So therefore, any opportunity to manufacture here locally is most welcome, Madam Speaker. But then we must also ask ourselves, when we bring the EPZs, what advantages do they bring to us? And you realize we get a lot of employment, but we also have an exemption of tax on inputs in these EPZs. That means that if we produce, if we increase the EPZ and we do not produce the raw materials for these EPZs to use, then we are creating an avenue for loss of taxes in this country. Therefore, this thing must also be looked uh, widely so that we promote our local industry and our, uh, uh, our local uh, uh, farming. For example, we have production of apparel in the existing EPZs like in uh, Athi River. But you find that KVDA that used to give us, Kerio Valley Development Authority, that used to support farmers to give us cotton, and even cotton that used to be produced in, in Mwingi and other places in Wakambani, they have died, Madam Speaker. So these things must go hand in hand. We now have an industry that is coming up, creating uh, uh, um, uh, apparel or materials or, or textiles from bamboo. These are things that we must promote. And these things are huge because, first of all, when you start growing bamboo, then we are helping farmers to also retain water and help our water resources and our water sources and also to increase the production and recharging of our underground water so that when you have drought like this, then our underground water does not get depleted. So we must look at it and also look at how to, pro to, to help our farmers give us raw materials. 